Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca. So today we are thrifting for 90s Chanel and I am really excited about this. 90s Chanel is very iconic in fashion. The Met Gala theme was like Karl Lagerfeld, which is obviously 90s Chanel and we saw so many pretty dresses. I think my favorite was that bridal look. Anyways, 90s Chanel, what we're looking for, we're looking for tweed, we're looking for mini skirts, we're looking for jeans, we're looking for gold hardware like belts and jewelry. We'll also be looking for Chanel if we can find some. I've never seen Chanel at the thrift store, but you never know. So anyways, let's go inside and see what we can find. Okay, so let's take a look in the jacket. I love this little jacket with the silver buttons. I think it's vintage. I just like the cut of it. This leather jacket is so nice. I love the color. It has like a little waist tie at the bottom. It's really nice leather too. Oh my goodness. I love this long maxi skirt. It's cream. It's new. It's vintage. Oh my goodness. I think it would be like a good low rise or like a good mid rise. I'm gonna think about it. Okay, so we're gonna look in the skirts and we're gonna be looking for mini skirts and tweed ones. Not at all what we're looking for, but. Right behind it, there's another Jones New York skirt, but it's G. It's also vintage. So we hit the jackpot in skirts. We get all the best skirts, really. This orange one, really Chanel. I know it's jean, but they did want a jean in the 90s. And these two, wow, okay. So I don't remember seeing like any shorts in 90s Chanel, but I thought we would look anyways. I love these Tommy Hilfiger bottoms. They're not my size, but I think I might sell them. Oh my goodness, look at this coach bag. It's very loud. I am really wary of robes ever since I got that silk one with the blood on it. But this one, I really like the pattern. It's so cute. But do I really want a used robe again? Also, these shorts are so cute, but they're stains. So I don't know what to do about that. Okay, do I dare get another silk robe? It also has 10% quote unquote fibers, so that's weird. Looking in the tank tops now, maybe we'll find a corset. This is a nice black tank top. Okay, this is not really 90s Chanel, but I feel like we could find a picture that's similar to it. I also just think it's really cute. I'm not into NASCAR though. Who cares? These are nice pants. The cotton feels super soft. They're also vintage. I don't think they'll fit though. Ooh, but these Urban Outfitters pants might fit me. That is super cute. We found another NASCAR shirt. This one is also really cute. But I think it could be tighter, you know? Like, I think it's supposed to be like a tighter silhouette. So let's take a look in the dresses now. I immediately see this one. And it's vintage. But there's not like a slip underneath it. It's also polyester. This linen top in Italy was randomly in this section. I think it's gonna be a little big though. This kind of smells like smoke, but let's look at the t-shirts. Let's take a look in the short sleeve blouses. This linen top is so me. Very nice. Okay, I missed this one on the end here. Okay, I was just passing by and these caught my eye. I didn't see them the first run through, but they are very nice and they are flared, I guess? Okay, so we are checking the lingerie, and I was hoping we'd find a corset, and we did. But it does feel a little too lingerie-ish, I don't know. Also too tight. I could do without the underwear, but the corset is really nice. It's just not my size. 
This is so stinking cute. This is cute too, but it has like built-in underwear. This is so cute. It's like lacy. I like that it has no color. Okay, our last stop is the sweaters, and I ran into this little lacy thing, and I think it's really cute. It's just not my size. It's kind of interesting, though. Is this a real Fendi? I think it might be. I don't know how to tell. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see, but I feel like it's not cut very nicely. Is that just like the quality of Fendi or is it a knockoff? I feel like this is pretty blatant knockoff. I just feel like I would expect more from like a luxury brand. I love this green color and like the contrasting collar. It's really cute. I am finding all kinds of cool sweaters. This is Saks Fifth Avenue. This crochet top might be cuter than the other one that I got. With 90s Chanel, they also wore a lot of like gold chain belts, which I've not seen here, but I already have one at home. Hopefully we can like incorporate it into some kind of outfit later. I could immediately tell this is good quality and it's coach. Should I get a third one? I love the colors of this bag. Okay, it is time to make decisions. Okay, so we're back. I have everything right there. I think there's some really cute 90s Chanel inspired outfits in this. So let's get into the haul. This is in no particular order, but at the top of the pile, we have these white jeans. The brand is Urban Outfitters. They're like that BDG brand or whatever, and they have a cute little like paper patch on the back. I love when pants have patches. I like little details like that. I especially like the contrast stitching on this. And I think this really works for 90s Chanel because they really started introducing jean into their runway looks. So with the outfit, there are a couple of 90s runway themes in it. Number one is this chain belt. You see gold chains everywhere, around people's waists, around their necks, around the bust. And the second theme is houndstooth. You see houndstooth everywhere or like tweed i guess it would be called tweeds in corsets in blazers in skirts in dresses and i have this one tweed looking kind of houndstooth skirt that i tried to wear as a top it's upside down and then i have it tucked into a belt it's definitely precarious and it doesn't go all the way around the belt but if i was actually gonna wear it i would probably like pin it and make it a little bit more secure and then i just wore these heels and then my cream coach bag i think it's actually kind of a cute outfit i definitely had to get creative with it to make it work for 90s chanel but we definitely have the jeans the gold belts, and the houndstooth. Next up, we have this NASCAR shirt. I really like it. I like the colors in it, the green, the white, and the black. I don't know who Labonte is, um, but there's number 18 on the side in red, which I think is also cute. I styled this outfit off of like the most casual 90s Chanel outfit I could find, but she's basically just wearing this like Chanel sweater with like a mini skirt. And then I just wore some tights and some flats. It's an okay outfit. It's a little boring. I also wore sunglasses with it. I don't know. But one thing about 90s Chanel is they definitely did wear a lot of mini skirts, so at least we have that theme in the outfit. But I promise we do have more interesting outfits coming later. Moving on, we have another top, and I got this crochet white long sleeve. It's not even a long sleeve, it's like a three quarter length. It has this really beautiful crochet pattern throughout it, and the brand is JP Evolution. I got it because I thought it would be so cute for summer. I love the white, I love these kind of like looser sleeves, and I really wanna find a matching skirt. But anyways, for 90s Chanel, you can already see what I'm wearing with it, but I am layering a corset over top of it. You see, again, so many corsets in 90s Chanel. Corsets on their own, built into dresses with like matching shrugs, with skirts, and this is actually the only one that I own, and I thought layering would be kind of fun. It is definitely bulky since this is like a thicker kind of knitting material, and then I wore it with the skirt that I actually had to roll up to make even shorter, and then these heels, because again, you see short skirts a lot on the runway, and I tried it with the gold chain and without the gold chain around my waist, and I actually think I prefer it without the gold chain. I, I think it's just already really busy with like all the different textures and all the different colors, but I think it looks really 90s Chanel, so I think we did a good job. We visited the lingerie in the thrifting portion, and I got this 
cute little lingerie top. How adorable is it? It's like this see-through nylon fabric with the rosette in the middle and then this cute little like flouncy flared out bottom with like ruffles. And I actually really like this outfit. I'm wearing it with these accordion pants. And then I also tried it with this cape that is actually technically also lingerie, but it has this really nice blue lace trim on it. And there was one year in particular where I feel like on the runway, they were wearing lots of like gauzy fabrics like this. It seemed very ethereal, very flowy. And so I thought this worked for that part of 90s Chanel. And then also you do see rosettes so much. They would often wear rosettes in their hair, on their tops. And then I'm also wearing these loafers because I did see them wear loafers a lot in 90s Chanel. And loafers are also just very 90s. It's definitely bold, but I think it's really fun. Next up, we got this orange skirt. I love this skirt. I love the color. I love the contrast stitching. And the brand is Twic, which is from Simon. So for 90s Chanel, obviously like the jean material is good. It's maybe not as short as like lots of the skirts they wore in 90s Chanel, but that's okay. And then I paired it with this orange DKNY scarf that I just like tied around my back just because I thought the colors looked so good together, not even because it was 90s Chanel. And then I wore my coach bag with it again. This might've been a little bit cuter with like silver heels or just like any heel in general but I'm just wearing these flip-flops which I don't actually love that much but I feel like I definitely thought they wore more scarf tops in 90s Chanel I guess they didn't I've had a lot of luck with purses lately and I got my third coach bag. I have the other two <laughs> hanging right there, but we seriously got so many coach bags in like the last like two months. Now we have a black one. It's really nice leather on the outside and then it has a blue interior with like the cute little tag on the inside. It is a little beat up on the back, but it's really not that bad. I don't really care. And for the bags outfit, I based it off this one Chanel photo where she's wearing wide white trousers with like a thick black belt and then another gold layered belt underneath. Now I don't have that many chains or that many like long pearl necklaces like that, so I didn't really do anything around the neck, but I did layer my belts and I saw this seam a little bit in 90s Chanel, like layering two belts, but I think the bag is really cute and I'm really happy I got it. And finally, I got a few things that I need to return or get your opinion on. First off, I got these wedgie fit Levi's. Really cute, way too small on me though. Love the wash, love the raw hem. This one I'm actually selling. Next up, I also got these Jacob jeans. I loved the wash. I loved how wide they were at the bottom and this cute little like Jacob patch. Also too small on me. There's nothing super duper special about them. And finally, I got this Columbia fleece. I wasn't sure what I should do with it. I really liked the colors. I thought it would be kind of nice for like hiking and camping and stuff. I don't really know if I'm gonna keep it. I don't really know if I need it. So let me know what you think I should do with it. If I should keep it, if I should return it. So anyways, that was everything I got. Let me know what your favorite piece was down in the comments below. If I had to choose, I think it would be that white crochet top. I don't know, I think it's really cute and I really wanna find a matching skirt for it or the coach bag. I don't know. Anyways, if you like this video, leave a like and if you wanna see more videos from me, subscribe. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you next time, bye.